So Marshall, the obvious question, why now? Uh, you know, just the whole process of my career and how things have gone, you know, um, I just did not uh, want to risk another injury. You know, I had, um, had two great, my two last years were healthy, got to do everything I wanted to do, no more rehab the last two years. And I just felt that if I, uh, if I kept pushing, you know, that, that those injuries have always been there for me in my career. So I wanted to end on a high note, uh, end healthy, end it my way, and not on, uh, not on injured reserve. So this was, this was the right time. You spoke a lot in your press conference about how much fun you had during your 2019 and ultimately last season. Yep. Was there ever a point where you said, man, maybe I can have another fun year and this team looks like it's headed in the right direction? No, because I, I take them how they are, and I was – um, happy that I was having that much fun in my last year. You know what I mean? Because it, that's, that's, it's actually better if you think about it long term. Like your last year, you have a ton of fun and you, that's the way you remember it. It's like that's an awesome way to go out because you're not, you don't get to control how the seasons go and how the games go. I would rather have the year like that than having like an 8-8 eight and eight year or a 5-11 and 11 year where, you know, you just, you know, but you can't control that. So I was even more thankful that we were winning and I still knew it was my last year. Out of all the games, out of all the wins, some losses, what is your most fond memory of, of your career, your 13 years here in Baltimore? I mean, it'd have to be winning the Super Bowl, you know. Um, just, uh, you know, being a part of that team and that playoff run. I mean, you know, we were, um, you know, we were a wild card, and, you know, people were kind of writing us off. We got into the playoffs, and we got hot right at the playoffs time, you know, right, you know, first to first playoff game. And just uh, things lining up for us to have that incredible year. Um, and just uh, the highlight is also just my entire time here. You know, it was a winning culture my entire time here. Yeah, we had some down years, but like compared to other places, you know, for my entire career, we were in the playoffs a lot. So I, I think also my entire career here. How would you like to be remembered? What's your legacy? Mm, uh, just as an accountable person, player, teammate, you know, if I say something, I'm going to do it. You know, if... Uh, you know, if, if I need to be there, I'm going to be there. If I need to, you know, if I'm, I'm going to give you my best, I am going to give you my best. If I get beat, I promise you I'm going to give you my best on the very next play. So just, you know, that type of guy, you know, tough, um, physical football player and, uh, you know, a grinder. And then finally, what's next for this franchise without Marshall Yonda? And what's next for you? What's on tap? Yeah. The Ravens are going to be just fine. You know, this is part of the deal. You know, players, um, whether they retire, whether they um, come, uh, you know, contract problems or whatnot, if you have to go to a different team. So they're prepared. They have been prepared, and then that happens every single year. So the Ravens are going to be great. They have a really good young team. I'm excited to watch them now. It'll be uh, interesting watching when I'm not injured, which will be good, so I can actually watch and not uh, go through the pain. But uh, so the Ravens are going to be great. And then for me, we're going to go back to Iowa and uh, spend some time with our family. And then I'm going to figure out, uh, you know, how much football I want in my life. You know, uh, football has been my, my entire life, you know, every season, every fall. It's all I know. So I kind of want to just see how much that desire is going to be in me to and how, what time, how, mu how much amount of time I want football in my life, whether it's just coaching my kids in youth sports and youth football, maybe in high school. I mean, we'll just kind of see how it goes.